Okay, I think I'm gonna stay right here. I was gonna switch y'all around. But we'll stay right here for this haul. I'll just move my bunny ears out of the way. How y'all doing? Now y'all, we're gonna start with the body shop. I decided to put this in with the Bath and Body Works haul because it's like, you know, body care and um, they all kind of go together. I have not been into the body shop in forever. Mirabella came home from New York yesterday. Her and her dad went into the city, had a great time, and she came home with products from the body shop. She was like, mom, I never heard of this place, but she didn't realize I used to use this on her when she was a little girl. They actually closed the body shop in our area, so I stopped you know, going there and stopped ordering from online. But I was gonna haul this. Uh, she fell in love with the scents, y'all. And not knowing that I used to use this on both my girls when they were little. They had a line of baby care products that I would always get. Only thing that worked on the eczema, yeah. The claim to fame to the body shop and still is all natural products. Uh, my brother worked for the body shop back in the day. He knew the original owner. Um, uh, who started out, you know, doing natural body care products in her home. I think she started off doing facials or something like that. I remember him telling me. Uh, and she came over here to the United States, built her brand, sold it, and now she's a very rich lady back over in England, I think. At any rate, Mirabella came home with the mango uh, shower gel. Pretty packaging. I've already smelled this, y'all. It smells like a straight mango. I feel like my mouth is watering when I smell this. Oh my goodness. A straight mango. Smells so good. Love the packaging. So she picked up that. Now again, Mirabella loves anything that has to do with luxuriating in scents, scrubs, um, fragrances. She's all about that life. Mask, anything like that. And y'all, this is supposed to smooth and soften skin with almond milk from Spain and hand harvested honey from Ethiopia. Yeah. And she picked up a body butter. Now I remember the body butters being in bigger containers than this. So uh, maybe they have changed that. But again, their body butters are extremely e intensive, moisturizing. And um, next time we're back into the city, I may even see if they, del you know, if I can possibly uh, order some of this online. Cause I used to love this. And with us washing our hands all the time, y'all, you actually need some kind of moisture to uh, save your hands from getting raw. And then she came home with a sweet little package for her sister. Now, y'all, this smells like straight honeysuckles to me. This is a shower gel Moringa. Okay, I have to look up and see if Moringa is honeysuckle because that looks like a honeysuckle right there. And it smells just like straight honeysuckles. It smells so good. Reminds me of home. Oh, yeah. Straight honeysuckle. So I'll let you know. I'm going to look up and see if Moringa or Moringa, Moringa or Moringa is honeysuckle. Okay. Now they say that this is with a seed, with seed oil from hand picked Moringa or Moringa. Yeah, smells so good. And I'm not going to use this because Magnolia hasn't tried this yet. She hasn't used it yet, and I won't be the first one to stick my hand in it. But that smells so good, y'all. So good. So I have rediscovered the body shop. I'm going to go online to see, you know, what it's looking like with shipment and stuff like that. But, yeah, so she picked all of those up. We went to Bath and Body Works, the outlet, a couple of weeks ago, and I picked up some essentials, some hand soaps. Y'all, I went in there and saw $2 hand soaps. I went flying to the back like, yes, hand soaps, because the only, the cheapest I can get it is the six for 24 when they have the sale. Uh, but when I saw $2 hand soaps, y'all, I would like, yes. But then I got back there, y'all, they were winter scents, but I was like, whatever, <laughs> it's soap, right? Nobody's visiting us anyway. I'll put this stuff out and we sure will use it. So I was in the back of the store, you know, grabbing, they had a limit on it. So you could only get 12 of them. So I was like, okay, fine. That'll be enough to get me into, um, you know, early part of spring, probably make it through half of summer. And um, my daughter came in the back. Uh, she said, mom, they have soap up front for 75% off, which is only $1.87, which beats the $2.00. And they have different scents. I went flying up front, and sure enough, they had 
um, some scents that I'm going to show you for a dollar and eighty-seven cents. Yeah, but I did pick up these two, and they are winter scents that I paid two dollars for. I picked up the winter citrus wreath. Okay, this smells like a. Um, you definitely can smell the citrus, but it's a. What am I smelling in it? A forest breeze. Like a, a, yeah, you can smell like a freshness to this. It almost, it's not pine, but it's a freshness. Yeah. Like a wreath. It smells like a wreath to me. Almost like potpourri. Okay, but you definitely can smell the citrus. Minus the packaging. If push comes to shove and we don't have any soap, guess what? It's going out in our, you know, downstairs bathroom. It almost has a masculine scent to it. So hubby probably will like this. He likes the Bath and Body Works scents also. And what I like about it, guys, when you finish drying your hands, it's a fragrance that kind of lingers, you know, in addition to keeping your hands moist. You can kind of smell it still. I yeah. also picked up the ice cinnamon rolls. This smells like a straight cinnamon roll. And I was thinking to myself, I'll just put this in our kitchen. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. A sweet cinnamon roll. It has a sweetness to it. What are they saying? Yeah, ice cinnamon rolls, warm cinnamon, fresh orange, and sugar glaze. So I'm, you know, smelling that sugar in it. So I picked up those two that are winter scents. But then the 75% off ones, y'all, I already have one of these in the kitchen. And this is a sun wash citrus, y'all. This smells so good. It's sugared lemons, juicy pineapples, and mandarin. This smells more like pineapple to me, like a sweet pineapple. And like I said, we have this already in the kitchen. I'm using this now. Oh, I love that. And y'all, when I wash my hands, y'all know I have a little puppy jersey. When I finish washing my hands with the paper towel, because it still has a scent on it, it's nothing for me just to find jersey and just kind of wipe the towel down her back. So it kind of keeps her fresh too, right? Yeah, I do that. And when she sees me coming with the paper towels, y'all, she loves paper towels. You just have to keep them away from her. But when I finish drying my hands, the paper towel still has the scent. I just take it across her coat, and she smells like whatever I just washed my hands with. Yeah. I promise you I have a nose like a canine, so I'm real sensitive. And I thought, you know, with us having a dog, maybe because she's so tiny, I just don't ever want, you know, somebody to come in my house and know that I have a dog. So I'm always doing something to keep her fresh without bothering her coat, okay? So those are, uh, so I picked up that. And then they had this line, y'all. This line is called the Purely Clean line. So I picked up two of these, two of the Cucumber Verbena. That smells really good. Uh, this is green tea, watery cucumber, and verbena. You really can tell, smell the green tea in this one. This is sparkling mandarin, fresh thyme, and cedarwood. I really can't smell the cedar wood in this, but I definitely can smell that mandarin, and it smells so good, nice and fresh. And this last one is probably my least favorite because I'm not really a eucalyptus type girl, but this is coconut and eucalyptus, and it's okay. Again, I'm just not the eucalyptus type. You know how eucalyptus smells fresh? I'm not really that type, but hey, in a crunch, I'll use it. But out of all the three, this is probably my least favorite. All right, so that's it with soap. So I was able to pick up our limit of 12 and I got it for under y'all $24, I think. Yeah, because it was originally two. Yeah, I spent, I spent $22 on those and the discount was $67.30. Oh yes, yes. And sometimes when you go into the outlet, they don't have soap. So I guess things are kind of sort of getting back to normal. And the uh, other stores are shipping to the outlet. That's how the young man told me. They kind of get what the other stores didn't sell. So that's why sometimes in the outlet, you'll see discontinued uh, fragrances with, that you can't find anywhere else. So, yeah. All right. So the girls also picked up some things. Mirabella. I'll start with Magnolia. She picked up three items. She picked up this. Uh, perfume spray. She wanted a travel size. She has her mind on traveling already. Oh, y'all, I'm so nosy. I got the front door open. Let me concentrate. My neighbor doing something out there, but y'all know I'm nosy. This smells really good, y'all. Very, very sweet. Hibiscus Paradise. It's so nice outside. A lot of neighbors are walking around, but this is really, really sweet. Almost smells like a honeysuckle also. 
They don't tell you the notes in this, I don't think. I think it's just straight hibiscus, though. Yeah, but very, very nice. I sprayed some on earlier. And it's this right, this perfume is not as alcohol based as the uh, you know, fine fragrance mist. This is like a concentrate. Very pretty. Yeah, this was $12. She also picked up these two uh shower gels that have been discontinued. This is a vanilla rainbow sprinkles. And she also picked up the cotton candy clouds. This smells like straight cotton candy, y'all. So good. Oh, so good. Mmm. Yeah. And Mirabella must have grabbed one of her items. She got in on the buy three, get three. But I only have five of her items down here. She picked up, let's see, a coconut fine fragrance mist. This is coconut milk, sea salt, musk, and French vanilla. I like the musk in it. Yeah. It says, spritz, spritz again, go coconuts. She picked that one up. She also picked up this one, Into the Night. This is very, it's a, it reminds me seriously of a masculine scent. It must have musk in it. Yeah, mocha, mocha musk is in this one. Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystal, Natural Confidence and Brilliant Beauty from the beginning of your day to the end of your night. So nice. And then she picked up these two. Uh, You're the one. She picked it up the body cream and she picked up the fine fragrance mist. Yeah, I wasn't really a fan of this one. I think this might have roses in it and I'm not really a big rose. Yeah, velvety rose. It's nice though. The strawberry nectar is a nice uh, contrast to it. I'm not really a rosy type, but it's nice. The strawberry kind of overpowers that rose a little bit. But again, she liked it and she does like roses. And the last thing that she picked up was the gingham. And I think she might have the gingham, gingham uh, fine fragrance mist in this. That's the one she probably already has upstairs. Yeah. And that is it, guys, from Bath and Body Works and Rediscovering the Body Shop. All right, guys, jazz hands. I'll see you in my next few videos, which will be more hauling and more spring home decor in my house. All right, guys. Bye.